Hello. Today we're going to go over graphing linear equations in the form y equals mx plus b, where if we recall from previous videos that m is my slope, my rise over run, and my b is my y-intercept, right? And the y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis, which we can put underneath. So all we need to do in these two, in these first two equations is recognize what we have. First, I'm going to say, all right, y equals one fourth x minus one is the equation that is given to us. Well, we know that my m is always the number in front of that x. What number is also just attached in front of that x? Another word for it would be a coefficient. And we see right there, my coefficient in front of x is one fourth. M equals one over four. We also see that B is here. And we have to make sure we keep the sign of B, whether it's positive or negative. So my B in this situation is negative one. Now, when we graph, we always start with my B on the Y axis. So I go to my y axis right here, and I go from start at zero, and we find negative one right there. That is my starting point. All I'm going to do next is do rise over run and keep the sign as a positive one over a positive four. Oops, let's just close this off to make it look a little cleaner. There we go. I don't know if that necessarily looks cleaner, but there we go. So all I'm going to do is go up one over to the right four. Now, we need a point on the left side of this point as well. We can just mirror it as in, if we went up one, I should go down one. If I went right four, I should go left four. The easy mirror will always work. So down one, left four. The reason this works is because my slope is positive one fourth. Well, if I'm going down one and left four, I can see it's a negative one over negative four, which does give me still a positive one fourth. And here we can kind of write some notes on the side where we know that right and up are positive, left and down is negative. And that way we can kind of go forward from there. All I do next is graph the equation. I'll graph it well and through the points on like what I just did. But there we go. Put some arrows on both sides. And I should probably make this a little smaller just so we can fit in our little notes on the side. I'm going to redraw this. All right, we're going to redraw that to move the whole graph. We're going to redraw that, extend our line, and call it a day. Perfect. That is how we graph our linear equations. Let's try number two, please. Number two seems a little tricky, but we know that, all right, well, B is super easy. I see it's just a number at the end, my plus B plus two. Well, my M here can get a little tricky because it's not, there is a number there, even though it doesn't represent it. We know what that number is. It's that imaginary one. So M is negative one. Now, my advice is to always put it over a positive one so we can easily see how much I rise and how much I run. I first start at my y-intercept, b plus two, and we go to the y-intercept, find positive two, boom. Next, we do my rise over run. I'm going to go down one, right one. As we recall, down is negative, that negative one. So I went down one. 
and write one. Now, I'm going to get an extra point just to kind of visualize where the graph is going. Let's get a point on the left side. And again, I mirror. If I went down one, I go up one. If I went right one, I go left one. Mathematically speaking, we have a positive one over negative one, which still gives me a negative one slope. And there we have our graph. I am just terrible at graphing these lines, am I not? Okay, here we go. Boom. We're rocking and rolling. Last one. Let's do this guy down here. The one thing we need to recognize is, wait a second. It's not in Y equals MX plus B. I need to manipulate it or solve it so it is Y equals MX plus B. The first thing I'm going to do is subtract my 3x. What I do to one side, I must do to the other. Rewrite the equation. Rewrite the equation. And then lastly is my y by itself. Not just yet. I will divide every term by negative 2. Let's clean up one last time. We see we have a fraction in front of my x of plus 8. Now, I am in y equals mx plus b form. My m is positive 3 over positive 2. My b is positive 8. So, let's move this down so we have some room. Let's go find our b. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we're going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, over 2. So up three, that positive three, over two, that positive two, right there. And then again, mirror, down three, left two, to continue the line. As we can see, it would be negative three over negative two. And then we graph. Oh, wow, I actually did a good line this time. Perfect. So as you can see, these lines are very easy to graph if we know what we're looking for. We need it in y equals mx plus b form. Then find m and find b, and we're off to graphing. Nice and easy, simple and sweet. Next video, we'll probably go over some completing the square and there we can go over inequalities of graphing too because those can sometimes be tricky when we're testing a point. Other than that, this is all you need to know. This is all you need to know about graphing y equals mx plus b.